Hey everybody, Emma here, also known as Eat Fun Hello, bringing you all another video. In today's video, I'm going to be showcasing my top five go-to Christmas albums. These are the Christmas records that I constantly find myself wanting to reach for and listen to um, around this time of year. These are in no particular order. These are just the Christmas albums that in light of the Christmas holiday right now and every single year, I find myself wanting to throw on and try to get myself into the holiday spirit. So again, no particular order, although I do probably have a favorite and you're going to be able to guess why it's my favorite here in a second. Um, but just thought I'd pop on, share these records with you and uh, wish everybody a, a Merry Christmas to those who celebrate and just happy holidays um, to everybody out there. The first record that I constantly want to listen to around Christmas time, we have to go with the classic here. A Charlie Brown Christmas by the Vince Guaraldi Trio. Like I said, absolute classic. Watching A Charlie Brown Christmas is a must every single year. And of course, listening to this album is a must every single year as well. I do not feel like it's Christmas time unless these songs are being played. There's a million different versions out there. Uh, the particular special vinyl that I have is this green vinyl LP pressing. It's this kind of transparent, um, greenish type album but like I said it is not Christmas time to, to me at all unless I'm watching a Charlie Brown's Christmas and I'm listening to the music so constantly find myself wanting to play this around this time of year I love 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 this album just love the artist Christmas song by Nat King Cole of course with the Christmas song um, but just Nat King Cole and his voice is just so velvety, smooth, and just so intoxicatingly good um, that he's got me sitting right there in front of the fire. I mean, that's like the vibe that you get while listening to this record. So I am obsessed with Nat King Cole's voice. And on this particular release and the songs that are on here, it just makes me feel like sitting in front of a fire on a cold, cold night in a sweater and um, just kind of indulging in the voice that is Nat King Cole. So I love listening to this record and especially the Christmas song around this time of year. The next one, this is The Ides of March, um, I Believe in Christmas. This is a release, a CD that they put out back in 2009. Of course, The Ides of March from Berwyn, Illinois, one of my favorite bands of all time with Jim Peterick of uh, Survivor fame, Ides of March fame, Pride of Lions, and so on. Um, but they're known to do Christmas shows around the holiday season. They put on like a whole, the first half of the show is all Christmas related. The second half of the show is just like pure Ides of March, Survivor, rock and roll. Um, and it's really neat. When I was younger, my dad used to take me to those every single year. So it's something that is extremely important to me and is a huge part um, of my my musical taste and musical journey. So I love, love, love the songs off of the CD. Again, every single year going to these shows, they would play these and I would look forward to hearing them. Um, you can see it's signed here. So the studio side, it has I Believe in Christmas. These are all um, originals written by Jim Peterick. It has I Believe in Christmas. It has a distant trumpet, which features the late John Larson um, on trumpet, who does just an absolute phenomenal job with that song. Santa's vehicle, you know, a play off of the Ides of March's vehicle. So Santa's vehicle, the five snowflakes, which is narrated uh, by the great Dick Biondi. Um, let's see, sharing Christmas, which is probably their most famous Christmas song, a fantastic Christmas song, and then The Night Before Ides Christmas, which I believe, if I'm not mistaken, that is like The Night Before Christmas, read by the keyboardists of this band, Scott May. Then it gets to the live side. Um, it has Not So Silent Night, which is a rocking rendition and play off of Silent Night. Do you hear what I hear? Little drummer boy. So going kind of into those classes of, of course, classics, of course, not written by Jim, um, but taking those on. Little drummer boy, White Christmas, There Is a Boy, Old Holy Night. Then it also has a song on here, which is written by Jim Peterick called We Wish. We Wish is, it is, I, I was going to say maybe, but it is. It is my most favorite song that Jim Peterick has ever written. It's the most important song, in my opinion, that Jim Peterick 
has ever written. And I'm going to link down below uh, to a YouTube video or something where you can go listen to this song. The lyrics are so relevant um, to today. It was written back in the early 2000s, I believe, but it's still relevant today. And it's just one of those timeless songs where the lyrics will probably be relevant for the rest of forever. So just extremely important lyrics. Jim Peterick, what, I mean, his songwriting, he is a songwriter. He is the songwriter. Um, but we wish, you know, you have I Have the Tiger, you have Vehicle, you have Hold On Loosely, you have all these songs from all these bands that Jim Peterick has written and co-written. Fantastic songwriter, one of the most underrated songwriters. However, We Wish, in my opinion, is the best, most important song he ever wrote. So I'll link that down below. Go check it out. But The Ides of March, I believe in Christmas. You know it's Christmas time when this goes on. Two more, another classic. You know how I love. You know how I feel about the Beach Boys. Uh, the Beach Boys Christmas album. Uh, I remember when I was younger listening to the Beach Boys when I really got into like a Beach Boys phase, and Little Saint Nick was just on repeat over and over again. Now it's one of those songs that you like hear all the time around Christmas time, and some people might get annoyed by hearing Little Saint Nick over and over and over again in stores and department stores and everywhere you go. Um, it's never the case with me. I will sing along to Little Saint Nick for the rest of time. Love the Beach Boys. Love their Christmas album. Last but not least, this is my favorite Christmas album of all time. Cheap Tricks Christmas Christmas studio album that they released back in 2017. As you can see, this was originally a record store day release for Black Friday in 2017. Um, and then they did end up just releasing um, just your standard studio version after that. Um, but this is just a rockin' Christmas album. Of course, it's Cheap Trick, so you know it's good. If you don't have this, I can't recommend it enough. It's just a really, really fun listen around the holiday season. They have their own songs on here. They do a lot of different covers. They cover songs from um, The Kinks and Roy Wood and Harry Nielsen and so on. So it's a really just fun rockin' Christmas album. And again, I totally recommend listening to this if you're feeling like you want to listen to something upbeat, if you want to listen to something rocking and still kind of feel like you're in the Christmas spirit. With that, everybody, those are my top five go-to Christmas albums. Again, wishing everybody a very Merry Christmas to those who celebrate, wishing everybody a safe um, and, and happy and fun holiday season. And I will see you all for my next video. Bye, guys.